uh, was born uh, two years ago, two years and a half ago, and was um, aiming to bring the youth together and basically think about Europe together and uh, work and make a web series, like make movies together, make film together. And uh, it was super important for this project to actually uh, have youth to think about stuff, like have youth to give their opinions. And that was super important. And I think uh, with this movie that you just watched, uh, I hope you kind of you kind of uh, got it. So um, that's what I'm going to say for now. Please go to the YouTube channel and we're going to have like other movies uh, through the whole month each week and have other premiere. And please go to the Facebook, the Instagram and like us, please. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Primavera. Um, so we are having here um, two young ladies, uh, Elodie and uh, Nikaragic, Nikaragic, who were involved from the beginning in the series. So uh, maybe, uh, Elodie, you can share a bit of the experience. Um, what was your part in the making of the video? And if you feel comfortable... Are we, we can speak in English or in, in Croatian. It depends on uh, you. It's up to you. Well, whatever, whatever you want. So maybe maybe in English. English. Yeah, maybe in English so many people can understand. Okay, so <clears throat> basically this whole project um, was a really fun and interesting thing to do for me. Uh, mainly because we invested so many time and energy in creating the whole script, the whole idea. And uh, we had we had really interesting moments while we were actually filming and writing. So I would I would definitely I would definitely say that this is one of the one of the nicest moments I've had uh, when it comes to when it comes to working with European youth and other organizations from uh, from Europe in general. Um, my, my personal goal here was to give everything I can in order to make uh, quali quality content. So uh, I, I tried to write the best script possible, brainstorming ideas that could help that could help us. And uh, I think we did a pretty, pretty good job here. Thank you very much, Elodie. And uh, Nika, maybe you can introduce your role. Just me, man, Hrvatsko. Pa ništa, meni, o, meni je taj projekt bio jedan od najboljih projekta u kojima sam bila, zato što bili su super ljudi, bilo je sve super organizirano i jednostavno sam obožavala išna ta snimanja i sve. Thank you very much. Marina? Uh, you had uh, several roles in the making of. Uh, you were uh, helping the, coordinating the team. Uh, you were supporting the translation to English. You were being an actor. So maybe you can share a bit uh, um, of your experience as well. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, hello to everyone. It's nice to see familiar faces that I haven't seen in a while now. Um, well, let me just tell you that I'm with my class now and you are being watched by um, 18 uh, young uh, high school students. Um, well, yeah, as you said, Eva, I really had different roles, uh, but um, all of them were super exciting. Uh, starting with our youth exchange in Marseille, where we all um, kind of uh, met each other, we had fun, we did some really interesting activities, learned about filmmaking and uh, different aspects of it, like uh, lighting and sound and so on. Um, in the whole creative process, I think that the students, the youth, uh, really, they had uh, the major role, uh, especially Elodie, she was um, our main um, story storyline uh, creator, uh, so the script is actually her, uh, let's say, baby, um, and we all just helped uh, with some ideas. Uh, but um, yeah, it was it was interesting because, as you see, I also had a small role, and I am not used to actually seeing myself on the screen. And right now, when we were watching, I kind of covered 
my eyes when uh, my part was on <laughs> and all the students were laughing. Yeah, but it was interesting. All the aspects were really fun. I think we all learned a lot about ourselves and about each other, about other cultures and about issues that are important in, um, well, throughout the European Union, I believe so. Yeah. Thank you, Marina. Uh, Primavera, we have been discussing uh, with the Croatian team about the topics. Uh, maybe you can share um, how the topics uh, of all of the web series have been chosen. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, well, um, at first, let's let go to the beginning. At first, um, choosing a topic was really about like uh, each team choosing what they think is important and what kind of issues uh, they want to talk about. So that was something that um, was kind of really part of the process when we were um, at the use exchange two years ago. It's so long ago. Uh, and basically we were having this activity where we were say, uh, kind of thinking like, what could we talk about? What is important for you today's guys? And we were like separating groups and um, and um, we had like questions saying like, yes, what is important? I mean, do you have this kind of issues in your country? Do you not? And so on. And um, and at some point, uh, like each country came up with uh, something that they really wanted to talk about. Like in my opinion, I think it's really uh, about like, what is a hot topic in your country right now and what is a hot topic in your friend group of friends and uh, i think as much for the creation um topic which is gender equality i think it's obvious that i think it's uh, not an issue but it's something that uh, young people especially um at the age of like 16 17 18 until uh, 25 and more for sure uh they do think about that like what's gonna happen when they're gonna need to look for a job and of course this is a, an issue for like all of us all around the world and in europe it's like a huge issue but for example i mean other countries do have uh they other the other themes they talk about like topics that are super hot topics right now for example for us in france it's um, migration and it's a uh, huge topic right now and but it's also a huge european topic and also for environment and so on huge 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 topic so i mean in my opinion for me it's like what youth today are thinking about like what's for, for them what is what is super important to talk about and to think about so um, yeah that's it <laughs> okay thank you very much so elodie you have been um a cornerstone of this episode, um, but uh, you you were the creation group was also amongst the most youngest uh, teams um, of all that were creating this web series. Um, I think it's very important to mention that uh, you have seen the episode. It looks very very professional, but aside the professional uh, video maker. Uh, none of you have been professionals, yes? Maybe you can share a bit about um, uh, this. Yes, so basically it was really challenging for all of us because uh, we never did anything similar before, none of us, uh, when it comes to acting, when it comes to writing script, when it comes to doing anything professional with cameras. So we were all a little bit lost in the beginning. But I think uh, that we should all be really thankful for our our cameraman, Slaven Sarajin. Uh, he did an amazing job. And uh, although he never likes to emphasize himself and say that he actually did a good job, I think that we can all agree that he he was really amazing. And he, he wasn't just filming uh and editing but he was uh he he was giving us pieces of advice and he he was actually telling us some tips and tricks about cameras so we actually also learned some things while he was filming so all in all it was um not only funny but educational also and we gained some skills that we can use later in life uh, you're currently studying. Does your study have uh, studies? Do they have any connections with this web series that you did? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really, not really, not at all, not at all, actually. 
but one of your colleagues uh, that was uh, working together with you, she she went abroad and she's studying something related to film. Yes, yes. Uh, the the main character of the movie, um, Anna Kiara Teglovic, she is currently studying in England. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly, but I know that it has to do something with acting and art in general. So yeah. So this is a very good result. I don't know if it's related, uh, connected with this, but it's good to hear. <laughs> um, Nika, um, can you maybe share with um, uh, other people uh, what was the toughest for you during this whole process? What was the toughest for you during this whole process? Pa najteže mi je bilo malo se možda sporazumjeti s drugim ljudima na engleskom. Da, da, da. E, mislim da mi se najteže bilo znači sporazumjeti s drugim ljudima malo na engleskom i to je to ostalo je sve bilo lagano. Um, we, we have been joined by Ivan Nekic, who was uh, uh, the, one of the actors within the series. Maybe you can share your experience um, and maybe with people um, to share uh, a bit of your acting background and uh, um, yeah. Hi, sorry for being late. Uh, I had something on my college. So uh, the making of the series of this episode was re like really interesting. I only made two scenes, and one of them, uh, one of those scenes, uh, we uh, we made on my 18th birthday, I think. Yeah, it was like really interesting. Uh, the whole group was like really amazing. Uh, it was funny, ed edu um, educative. Uh, educative, no? Yep. Uh, and um, before before uh, making of this episode, uh, I have been a part, uh, part of a theater group, um, and I have um, how to say. Iva, what should we talk about? Znači na državnom festivalu kazališnih amatera sam dobio nominaciju za najbolju. Uh, so he's becoming a very famous actor. He was nominated, or you were awarded um, as the best male uh, for the best male role, yeah? Okay, uh, that's very good. Uh, Marina, you have you said that uh, when you were watching yourself on on the screen that you were actually embarrassed and shy. Uh, can you share with the viewers how many times and retakes did you have to do for several episodes and uh, how uncomfortable it was to film? Because usually for people, um, it doesn't come naturally to ignore the camera, yeah? Yes, you are very right. Um, well, you have seen that my part is really small and I only have like two sentences, but still we had to do a lot of takes, uh, many more than I thought that would be necessary. Uh, it was really strange. I knew that, I mean, everyone was watching me and I knew that I was being filmed. So I just, it didn't feel natural and comfortable, but yeah, in the end, uh, you get what you get. Um, I am really um, like, um, I don't know, I um, am amazed at how uh, well all the uh, young people, all the students um, actually managed to act because I think it was, I, I saw that it was easier for them. I don't know, maybe they were more relaxed or anything, but yeah, they really did a great job. And even those guys who were behind the cameras and you didn't see them, like Nika was always helping us with uh, hair and makeup and costumes and different kind of technical things. Um, they were really um, doing a very hard and very good job. Um, well, I really do congrat congratulate um, all of the Croatian team in uh, making an uh, effort. But there was a, a one more episode uh, that was supposed to be filmed uh, online. Uh, that was supposed to be filmed in person, but uh, thanks to COVID, um, it had to be made uh, online. And uh, some of you were part of this, yes? 
Yeah, Marina, you were part of this. Elodie, were you part? In the last uh, episode, uh, when the interview in gallery was made. Uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, um, I'm very sorry that uh, Slaven couldn't join us, uh, but uh, his role was uh, essential, yeah, in this. Uh, he was the one that helped you um, to put this professional uh, part in uh, making of the web series, yeah. And how was the collaboration with him? Can somebody share? I think maybe Elodie should comment on this because she was the one who was organizing everything, um, uh, managing when we will be uh, filming and stuff. So Elodie, share your experience. And also maybe you can say how many days it lasted, uh, the share, uh, the filming and uh, the whole process. Um... Yes, uh, so I think that the whole uh, process of filming lasted for about two or three weeks. Uh, we had a deal that every week we wanted to shoot two or three uh, scenes, and we we actually stick to that plan, so everything turned out as planned. Um, yes, I think that Slaven, Slaven's role was really essential. Um, he is really an amazing cameraman, but not only that, he is um he, he really uh he really did all he could to free his time whenever we were free he adapted himself uh whenever it was necessary and he was really flexible and a nice person to work with he made a really nice and chill atmosphere so people weren't shy in front of camera and i think that in some moments uh it was it was such a natural and nice atmosphere people didn't even realize that they were filmed. So yeah, I think that Slaven uh, really did an amazing job and uh, we are really all thankful to him. Um, yes, congratulations to Slaven. Uh, um, we are uh, planning to have uh, this uh, premiere also in person uh, uh, to organize a person-to-person -person event. Um, uh, there are some plans also to uh, put this on Croatian Netflix, uh, the Croatian episode. Uh, so uh, you're going to become very popular. <laughs> and uh, uh, the web series has been um, uh, applied to, uh, for several festivals uh, around Europe. Uh, maybe, Marie, you can share some uh, information about the plans uh, for the web series and for its uh, multiplication and dissemination. Uh, well, I'm not in charge of this part, <laughs> but uh, I can talk a bit about that. So just to introduce myself, my name is Mary, and I am in charge of the communication of the web series. Um, I first met Prima in February of this year, and I totally fell in love with the project. So, so that's why I, like, uh, I'm very dedicated to, to it. Um, indeed, with uh, one of our colleagues, Maeva, who is in charge of the dis dissemination of the series, we are planning to, um, like to send the movie to several uh, festivals. And also like to um, to have some collaborations with uh, with some like how can I say that like some event. Um, so yes, we are trying to um, to like to uh, put the 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 series and the whole project in the at the heart of a, of a globalization uh, communication so that a lot of people can can see it yes prima yes prima yes i was uh, like being like hey let me say something please um yes i was uh, i was wanting to share like first uh, i'm super duper extra happy to hear that the collaboration with the Slaven was so good because like it could have been so bad. I mean, 
it could have been, but it, it wasn't. And that's super great because uh, the fact of having people who are totally not from the cinema uh, video making uh, um, uh, area working with a, a professional was kind of was part of the aims of the project was part of the thing that yes you are a youth you are a youngster you want to do stuff but you don't have skills what can you do and like what can you do is that you can have people who help you to basically make your dream come true let's say so but to make it happen and that was the thing he like helped the youngster to make that that happen and to make all this scenario all this brainstorm like to come to life and that's super great that it went so good because it means yes we can actually do it you can be 16 and have a, an idea of something and do it and uh, for that i'm super grateful for all the like slavonsky broad work because yes wow super super great work and the second thing is that, yes, guys, get ready to walk on the red carpet because, yes, 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 you're going to be super famous, you know? <laughs> because, yes, basically, we're planning to apply to different international festivals. So we hope that uh, this is only the beginning. And um, I'm also, congratulations, even it's super great to have a, a, like a prize for your acting skill. What the fuck? That's super amazing. <laughs> super amazing and um yes we're also planning to have stuff for some radio with some international uh, pl website platform and so on and we hope that it's gonna go somewhere and we hope that in the end uh we will be able to like see ourselves and our work in some years and be like yes drop the mic this is huge <laughs> that's it <laughs> thank you very much prima because uh, we have um, a bit limited time because the audience, uh, we have, we are not only watched by Marina's class, but also by another class of students. Uh, and the bell is going to ring very soon. Uh, I want to thank all of you for this lovely chat. I hope that uh, the audience that has been watching us, but also the people that will join and watch later, um, will get a small glimpse, an idea uh, of what has been done. Um, because it was a, it's a, a great success, great work. Um, this is one of the longest run project um, that uh, Europe House has been part of. Um, and uh, the result, we have a really tangible result and we are very proud of this. Um, we are also using this chance <clears throat> to encourage all of the other young people who want to become more active uh, to join the projects because you never know um, it might change your life it might uh, direct your career uh, it might open your eyes for something that uh, you didn't know it was part of you so thank you very much for all of this and uh, uh, let's join for another premiere that is going to be of the second episode and the second episode is was filmed in Romania so it will be next week so bye